Hey everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a little plant haul and a planting with Julian episode. It is Saturday afternoon and it's a little past 4 p.m. It's been gloomy all day and drizzling here and there. And I worked from 8 to 2 o'clock, so it's definitely a long work day for me. But I wanted to go ahead and at least do this video and get these babies planted up before I go on my big trip. So I want to talk about the planters that I got and I recently purchased these planters a little while ago. I filled them all up so I went back and I got more. So the first thing I want to talk about are these terracotta planters and these are all purchased from Daiso Japan. I got six of them. These are what four looks like and this is what the inside looks like. I love terracottas as a backup plan B if I can't find an all-white planter. I try to keep my planters all under $15 unless they're really big like my Red Congo or uh, George, my mom, Sarah, they have bigger planters and I spent under $30 each for those planters. Otherwise, I like to have my planter budget to be under $15 because my collection is so big. So it's hard to sometimes find white planters that are under my budget. So my second resort is terracotta. So I purchased a bunch of these a while ago, but I believe nine. So I went back and I bought six more. And we're going to be using some today. And then they also restocked on the white planters that I picked up previously, I believe it was last spring. So they're here now, but there was only one particular print of the style that I like. So here's the planter. I have three of them and it did come in several different patterns. This one was my least favorite, but this was the only one that they restocked in as of right now at the location I go to, which is in West Los Angeles. So I ended up buying three. There was a total of six, but because I really don't care for this pattern, I didn't want to buy them all out because I could have easily filled all six of them with babies. But for today's video, I just picked up three. I think for the most part, all of the babies that we're gonna be planting up in today's video are all new babies that recently got put into my collection over the last two days. So this is gonna be really exciting for me. I have my potting tray and my soil ready to go here. And again, I'm filming outside of my home because at 4 p.m. my patio is already dark. So. The cool thing about this tray, my potting tray, is that I can just move it anywhere I want to to go ahead and pot up plants. So if you don't have a potting bench like me, you can go ahead and get this garden tray. I love this one a lot and it's in my Amazon store. You can go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and plant up my first baby. Because it's not really the planting season, it's hard to come across white planters unless I go to a garden center or a nursery. But for now, this is fine. So this is my Hoya Carnosa. And I want to say it's a Hoya Carnosa because it looks exactly like my tricolor. And it's an unidentified, but I want to go ahead and say that it is a Hoya Carnosa. So here's my newest Hoya added to my collection. And I want to go ahead and just kind of break it up. Here's a better point of view. I want to go ahead and take a baby. I like taking a baby when I'm planting. And... We'll set it aside in the greenhouse. I can gift it, I can sell it. I can do more propagation. So this is a good one here. There's a little root right here as well. So I'll take this one and I wanna take maybe one more. Don't wanna take too much from the plant. Hmm, maybe I'll take Okay, so I'm gonna take these two. I'll put this in a little planter together. Look at how cute this is. And I'll set it on the side. And then these will all go together in the same planter. So just go ahead and break it up. It hasn't had any water lately, so I'll definitely go ahead and give it a nice drink of water after this. Good, right there. So now I want to go ahead and backfill. And I'm wearing my jacket because it is slightly cold. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that. So the Hoya collection grows. Use my smaller tool here. Then I'll push this on that side and put soil here. I had a busy day at work today. I taught a private. 
three group classes and another private and I was at both of my studios today so it's a busy Saturday for me but definitely a different change from my Las Vegas weekend schedule because I'm usually dancing at night or I am at our restaurants during the day or late nights and Ebby's not with me because she stayed back with my mom for my big upcoming trip she stayed back so I do miss her but my mom's sending her pictures every day she's super cute so here it is guys what do you think about that oh my I'm in love I think that looks great so I'm glad I was able to pick this up today and I did order more macrame hangers it's coming in tomorrow so that one will be reserved for my new Hoya the next one I want to go ahead and plant up are these guys so <laughs> they're funny I don't know what kind of spider plant they are but I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the soil see what's going on here and I want to group them up together Ooh, the roots are interesting guys look at this it looks like I don't know it looks clear kind of interesting root system here so now that I I can't help but do this it's like little pom-poms I was a cheerleader in high school maybe that's why so I think I want to go ahead and just group them like this maybe I think that looks cute maybe right here okay I'm gonna do that and put some soil in the bottom here okay mm -hmm. all right so now that it's in there I can go ahead and backfill it up and this is so cute I, I need a name for this guy It's fun hair. If you can come up with a name, let me know in the comments what you would name this guy. He's a funky haircut. And the root system is quite interesting. It's like clear jelly bean long noodle type root system. I think that looks good guys. All right, so this is the current current vibes of this plant. Like, how fun is that? Love that. That looks so cute. So I'll definitely give this guy a water. Love him. All right. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put this in here together. So here is my green Hoya Carnosa little babies so I'll, this will go in the greenhouse i can gift them trade them sell them but i always like taking from my plants when i pot up so here's the next one i want to work on and this is the aloe pink blush that carrie gifted me thank you carrie if you're watching this i'm gonna go ahead and empty this out hold it here with my two fingers and then i'm gonna go in just good already okay so here it is and you know what I'm gonna leave this right back here so here's the next one this is my African tortoise plant the white Daiso Japan planters now and we'll just go ahead and shimmy it out a little I want it a little bit up so I'm gonna add some soil in here and then we'll just do this and I'm gonna hold up the heart-shaped leaves like so so I can see what's going on there and let's get my little shovel here
cute. See if I can go ahead and press the soil down. Get a little bit more in there. And without damaging the leaves. I think that looks good, guys. What do you think? I could bring him up a little. I could. Maybe just a little. Let's see here. We'll add a scoop more underneath him. better okay so here's what it looks like what do you guys think works for me good enough okay so I guess we'll see what happens how long it trails my Baja rock fig my ficus palmary root bound wow take a look at all of these roots jeez it was definitely uh, time for a repot here go ahead and soften up the root system here Now that that's a little softened up, do this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm, I see. to do is soften it up a little bit more better this is definitely better I'm glad I did that okay the plant will be much happier that I did that for him There it is. What do you guys think? That looks pretty good, huh? We got one more to go. So here's the last guy right here. This is my boulder plant, my big foot. Whoa. All right. Interesting. Take a look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Okay. Here's his final look. I think this looks great. What do you think? I think he looks cute. There you have it. And here's the finished look. So cute. With my new planters and my new babies potted up today, I'm glad that worked out. I'm kind of interested to see when I come back where am I going to have them and style them in my home. I'd love to see my new babies in these white planters on the shelf inside of my home, but for now, everything is going to be in my patio. And if anybody knows what type of spider plant this is, this is such an interesting spider plant. It's like very cute and dainty. And then I'm glad I was able to pot up my new Hoya in my collection. So I hope you guys found this inspiring. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified whenever I do an upload. I do daily videos on this channel. And I'll try to get maybe a video up every three days or so while I'm away. I can't wait to go to Egypt and it's going by so fast guys. I didn't finish planning which I'll do tonight and stay tuned for a very special episode which I am going to film tomorrow and I'm really excited to do this for the channel and it'll be really cool to kick off 2019. But other than that, um, I am hope to finish up planning for Egypt tonight, start packing tomorrow and in three days I'll be heading to Egypt. So. Time is flying by. I do work every day, but I'm glad I was able to spend time with my plants Thank today. Thank you to everyone who ordered plants throughout the last two years supporting me and my channel. And I think that's really cool that I actually have real plant friends. And it's so nice that I'm able to help you expand your plant collection. And that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I am going to now jump in the shower. My grandma made turkey chili and rice tonight, so it's perfect for today's weather. And then tomorrow, we'll see what I end up doing for the channel. I definitely want to do that one special video, which I'll go ahead and film tomorrow after work, so stay tuned. And I did pick out the giveaway winners for part one and two of my plant tour yesterday. So go ahead and pick winners for part three and four in the next two days. Also, I want to give a big shout out to a handful of subscribers who purchased plant babies from me and sent me photos so i want to go ahead and share them now thank you guys for supporting my channel and when i'm back from egypt i can go ahead and continue to send plants your way so stay tuned i'll be posting lots of more plants on my planted with julian instagram reach out to me in a direct message that's the best way to communicate with me so i know exactly what you want and I'll be able to get the plant out to you as soon and as also, possible. also, for anybody who purchased plants during my New Year special, send me a picture of the jade cutting that I sent you. I think that'd be so cute to see my jade tree in different parts of the United States. So before I go ahead and end today's video, I wanted to do another plant front shout out, highlighting one of the comments that really... So this comment was posted up three months ago by JMHRN52. It says here, no wonder I love your channel so much. You are very intentional about your content and I appreciate the fact that you only upload positive and uploading videos. Your passion for plants is contagious and thank you for helping me to appreciate the beautiful creation that surrounds us. Peace and love. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I really enjoyed reading that comment. If I don't answer your question on a plant talk Q&A or give you a shout out at the end of my video, I definitely do read all of the comments and I appreciate you guys so much. Happy 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can find more on my blog at lojulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica. Bye. Mm -hmm.